Jamar Chase has two years left on his contract, but he's still asking for an extension. Let me repeat that one more time for the people in the back. Jamar Chase has two years left on his contract, but he is still asking for an extension. This has left many NFL fans confused, Bengal fans confused, and I'm sure the organization confused. But I'm kind of here to tell you that he isn't as crazy as you may think he is, and he's kind of right with this decision and request. Here's why. Since coming to the NFL in 2021, he has made All-Pro second team, three straight Pro Bowls, Offensive Rookie of the Year, and on top of that, since joining the NFL in 2021, He's finished 7th in receiving yards, 12th in receptions, and 3rd in touchdown catches, which is tied with Tyreek Hill, and slightly more than CeeDee Lamb. If there is a roundtable of Tier 1 wide receivers right now, Jamar Chase is shoulder-to-shoulder with CeeDee Lamb and Tyreek Hill. This request has left the NFL media straightly confused as to like why is he asking for an extension if he has two years left under contract. I kind of feel like this is kind of smart on his decision. One, with his fifth year option, he's getting paid about $21 million, which is way below his market of how much he should be getting paid. Two, if he were to play out the final year of his rookie deal, next year when the cap space is higher, instead of getting what he can get right now, he could probably ask for 35 to $40 million minimum average per year. So I kind of feel like the Bengals should definitely lock him up now and have him under contract for five years, then let him play out the final year of his rookie deal. He's going to hold out because he doesn't want to pay play for $21 million, and he's going to want to ask for 35 to $40 million per year. If you allow Jamar Chase to play out the final year and CD Lamb gets paid, Brandon Ayuk gets paid, Jamar Jamar Chase is going to reset the market next year, which is why I actually feel like it's pretty smart to provide his extension right now and pay him at the market value right now. Brandon Ayuk somehow gets $30 million. Just imagine how much Jamar Chase is going to get. Now, let's compare Jamar Chase to his 2021 wide receiver counterparts. Devontae Smith has gotten paid. Jalen Waddle has gotten paid. Don't you feel like Jamar Chase should get be should get paid as well? And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, Devontae Smith didn't get his fifth year option picked up, so I don't think he should be part of that conversation. Well, you're right. So let's take him out of that equation. Now let's talk about Jalen Waddle. They picked up Jalen Waddle's fifth year option, and then a month later gave him his extension. So if the Miami Dolphins were able to pick up his fifth year option, realize that Waddle is a key member to this offense and gave him his extension when he was pretty much under contract for when he had an extra two years on his contract for about a month. Why can't the Bengals do the same for Jamar Chase? You get what I'm saying? Jalen Waddle had his fifth year option picked up and which made him have two years left on his contract just for a month later for the Dolphins to be like, you know what? You are a key member for our offense. Let's pay you your extension. And I think the Bengals should definitely do the same for Jamar Chase and respect his decision because they picked up his fifth-year option. Why don't you give him the same treatment that the Dolphins are giving Waddle? And I know, I know a lot of it is, it's because Jamar Chase is asking to get paid $40 million per year. There has been reports that Jamar Chase is asking for four years, $160 million dollars, with $120 million guarantee, which is pretty much more than Justin Jefferson. Right now, I do not believe that Jamar Chase should get paid more than Justin Jefferson. So I think that kind of contract and what he's requesting is a bit too, too rich. But I do feel like the Bengals should extend them for four years, three years, how many years he would like to sign for, and at least come to an agreement of his proper value. Here are some questions that you're going to have to ask yourself before having him sign the extension. Can the Bengals win the division without Jamar Chase? Can the Bengals make it to the Super Bowl without Jamar Chase? Can the Bengals win the Super Bowl without Jamar Chase? If you've answered no to to three of those questions, 
Jamar Chase is very important to this team and very important to this offense. If Joe Burrow is healthy and Jamar Chase is healthy, they're probably the best quarterback wide receiver duo in the NFL. Like Jamar Chase said, he calls himself Mr. 7-Eleven. I understand that Joe Burrow is probably one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, but as a receiver, you still need to get the job done, get your release at the line of scrimmage, get yourself open, and catch the ball. So it isn't just purely off Joe Burrow being an elite quarterback, giving the ball to Jamar Chase and him doing all the work after. No, Jamar Chase is a tier one wide receiver in this league, and I do believe he should get paid like one, and I do believe that he should get his extension. It is not crazy that he is asking for an extension with two years under contract where a similar thing just happened to Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle and Devontae Smith are wide receiver twos on their team. I think you should definitely pay Jamar Chase, who is the wide receiver one of this team. So I'm pretty much here to tell you that even though Jamar Chase is asking for an extension with two years under contract, it is not crazy that he is asking for this. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of on Jamar Chase's side in this situation. He does have one more year of his rookie deal before they pick up the option. But if Jalen Waddle just went through the similar situation, why can't he? If Jamar Chase plays this final year, he's going to hold out. And if CeeDee Lamb and Brandon Ayuk get paid and he plays his final year and he has a phenomenal year, Best believe the Bengals are going to have to pay him between 35 to $40 million to try to keep him. So I'd rather pay him now than pay him tomorrow's price. Jamar Chase, he is very important to this team, to the organization, and to the city of Cincinnati. He may be asking for a lot right now in his contract demands, but I do think that it will all work out. I'm sure they'll come to an agreement because honestly, Jamar Chase has a great rapport with Joe Burrow. They both believe that they can definitely win the division again. They both believe that they can win the AFC Championship again and make it to the Super Bowl. And hopefully the next time they go to the Super Bowl, they could probably win one together. So he is very important to this team. And honestly, I do not think he is crazy for asking for an extension with two years left. Because look what Miami just did for Jalen Waddle. Like I just said before, they picked up this fifth-year option. Just for a month later, be like, you know what? We'll give you your extension. So pay him now, give an extension, have him under contract with the Bengals for the next four to five years and try to win a chip together with Joe Burrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment below on your thoughts and your opinions on the situation. Do you think he is right? Do you think he is wrong? And what you think about this whole situation? Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and please subscribe for more weekly content. Thank you so much and catch you next time.